just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left of the guy. I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect while uh, leaving Christians like, you know, myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, I'm back again. Just wanted to do another video uh, showing the part of the stream I mentioned where Brian Dillinger just goes off on somebody who just asks him a simple question. This is in the same stream where Brian Dillinger called anybody who still attends church buildings, he just calls them lost. Okay, I'm gonna play, gonna show this part of the video. Uh, this part of the video is about, uh, how far is it in? About 22, 23 minutes and 19 seconds in. Okay, watch what, watch what Brian says here. So, you know, and, and of course, you know, I, see one of your comments here not all trash churches are trash. okay i this whole argument well my church doesn't do it and i i have a church and we don't listen here's how the system works if it's not first and foremost if it's not supported by the king james bible you have no business doing it. now i should point out too that i i don't believe in church buildings i don't attend them i know they're roman catholic and uh, not scriptural in many ways, but look how Brian is just going off on somebody who just asked him a simple question or just said, hey, not, not all of them are bad. There are, you know, there are some ones out there. Yeah, they're unscriptural, but in terms of doctrine, they're sound, they have sound doctrine. I'll put it that way, apart from obviously being unscriptural uh, temples. But look how Brian is just going off on this person. The guy, he's got a lot of bitterness and wrath in him, which are all lusts of the flesh, by the way, too. Okay. When it comes to worship and whatever, I you know, I know there's no Ford trucks in there or Chevy cars or something. Don't get idiotic here. But when it comes to something like church, it's clearly defined in the King James Bible. There's no question. There's no debate what a church is. It's the people. All right. And you can meet in a home. You can meet in a field. You can meet in the mountains, along the ocean, along the lake wherever you want to. You say, well, can't we meet in the building and call it a church? No, because then you're, just, you're changing the definition of what a church is. So number one, you're in disobedience to scripture if you have a building called a church, plain and simple. And then you have but, the- Brian, maybe the guy was just ignorant. Maybe he just didn't know any better. You know, I mean, look at this bitterness just coming out of Brian. This this is wicked. This is, the, this is the fruit of Brian's ministry. And you see the people who comment and will leave comments on my videos rebuking Brian. This is the fruit. It's all bitterness and wrath and malice. See this, see, this is why Brian is to be marked and avoided. This is the fruit of his cult that he runs there, his Catholic cult. He's no different than the bitterness that the Roman Catholics and Jesuits showed towards those who spoke against the Antichrist Pope in Rome. He's no different. Double life that's, that comes as a result of that. What I do when I'm in church and what I do when I'm not in church. I've dealt with this stuff for years and years. I've answered all the questions. And keep, and keep in mind, this whole rant that he's going on was just in response to somebody asking or just saying, hey, not all of them are, are that bad. I mean, that's all that it was. And look, he just goes in this big, huge rant and, and raving and, and fetching, basically, about this simple comment. Again, I don't I do not do church buildings. I, I don't think they're scriptural. But just look at this, just the bitterness and wrath and anger coming out of Brian. I mean, this, this is not the way, this is not how, how a shepherd is supposed to treat his flock. That's simple. I'm gonna show some scripture on that uh, right now, actually. Okay, but just keep in mind, what you just saw right there is the fruit of Brian's so-called ministry. Actually, I'll just play a little bit more just to see how far he goes. Ridiculous. But you know, oh, my church doesn't do it. Okay, let's just assume that for a minute. But what happens when the government takes over? Just finally says, okay, this is the way it's going to be and whatever else and things like they basically did in 2020. Guess what? They all went along with it. Yeah, a lot of that is true. A lot of them did, but again, the point is is that 
they're in terms of doctrine some of them do have sound doctrine although again they're not doing scriptural practices by by having the weekly thing in, in the building and, and required attendance and that kind of stuff yeah that's all unscriptural it all comes from uh roman catholicism but the main point of this video is just showing how brian dillinger is you know he's not this is not the way a shepherd is supposed to act to his flock that's simple because if he wants to treat youtube as his flock well uh ephesians 4 31 let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Brian has not done that. He's showing it all in this video. The flesh, his his flesh is just taking over in that video. Believe me, it, it just ranting and and bitterness the whole way through. But here here is how a uh, bishop, a shepherd, is supposed to act. If he, uh, for, sorry, First Peter chapter five, verses one to five. The elders which are among you, I exhort who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you. Actually, my full screen. Yeah. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre. Hmm. I don't think that would uh, include having three, di all these different vehicles. I mean, three different properties last time I checked or two different properties. And, and in one of them, this big giant house that is bigger than both my cottages combined. My family's cottages combined, hmm, not filthy lucre, but ever right. And also, also not a filthy lucre. Yeah, like complaining about getting forty-one donations. I mean, seriously. But ever ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples unto the flock. Again, Brian Dillinger is the lord over over God's heritage. You know, if you if you question anything he says, if you attempt to rebuke him or correct him or or just disagree with him, he'll he'll call you lost, and his followers will just call you lost too. Uh, verse four, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, or shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Brian's not done that. Okay, now here are some scriptures that also describe the wickedness and bitterness of Brian Dillinger. Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse seventeen. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and of and a man of wicked devices is hated. That's Brian Dillinger. He's dealing foolishly in this video right here. He's, he's uh, what does it say? He's soon angry. That's what he's doing. Again, the flesh is just taking over in that whole video. Uh, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 2. For their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Again, right there. Now here's two other scriptures I want to just briefly cover. Galatians chapter 5, verse 15. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. Well, Brian does that with his followers all the time. Galatians 5, 26. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Again, describes him right there. So I wanted to just point that out. Uh, again, Mark can avoid Brian Dillinger. That whole rant he just did, again, is the fruit of his... His uh, cult that he runs there, his Roman Catholic papal cult that he runs there. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21 describes the lust of the flesh, and Brian displays quite a lot of them. So yeah, Mark and avoid Brian Dillinger. Uh, he does preach a lot of good truth, but there's a lot of, of talk, spiritual, spiritually toxic material there as well. Uh, it just, just mostly the bitterness and wrath that comes out of him and his followers. So yeah, Mark and avoid this uh, cult leader. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.